statism is a religion, isn't it? It has everything. Temples of worship, an ordained priesthood, holy commandments, prayers and hymns, and other rituals of faith. Statism is a religion that proposes that a singular entity of supreme moral authority is empowered to tell you what to do, to steal from you, to restrict your choice, and to punish you if you resist, all in the name of protecting you from people who will tell you what to do, steal from you, and restrict your choice, and punish you if you resist. This singular entity, this god of statism, is called government. From their gleaming temples, the high priests of government pass down their sacred commandments to the lay people. To fail these commandments is to be a sinner, a criminal to be punished, even if there is no victim. Yet such is the power of government's high priesthood that they can exempt themselves from their own decrees. There is one set of commandments for you, and one for them. The high priests debate endlessly on ritual and commandment, but never question the legitimacy of their god. Hark! cries the left. The power of the state to steal from the people through taxation and restrict their activity through regulation must be used to help the poor. Nay! cries the right. The power of the state to steal and to restrict must be used to protect business and punish those who would sin against the state. Laws are not a substitute for morality. They're just threats. Taxation is no different than theft, even if the religious ritual called elections or royal coronation under monarchy anoint a high priest with the power of government to spend your money. The legitimacy of the state has no basis in logic, and the moral basis of the state is an argument against the state. What organization can protect your property by stealing your property? Yet endless are the defenses of those indoctrinated into the faith of statism make. We are the government, say the statists, who think you're so stupid you can't distinguish yourself from the high priests. We have the consent of the governed, say the statists, who don't realize that if one's consenting they cannot be governed, and if they are governed they cannot be consenting. We have the social contract, says the statists. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I never signed any social contract, and neither did you. I cannot empower someone else with rights I myself don't have, even if I wanted to. I wonder what would happen if you went to your neighbor's house, started bossing him around, and taking one-third of his income. Go ahead. Try it. Look, here's the thing. We've tried statism to organize society. We've tried and tried and tried for 10,000 years, and it just doesn't work. There's nobody on earth who knows how to best organize society, and those that say they do, they're lying, or at best they're delusional. I don't know. You don't know. All I'm asking is that you be curious, because although no one person knows, there is a way to find out. And it starts by rejecting statism. Reject that an authority you did not consent to can boss you around. Affirm that theft is still theft, even if I call it taxation, and that threats are still threats, even if some anointed high priest calls it law. The problem is, we have no choice in the matter. We have to follow their commandments. We have to observe their rituals and pay our tithes to their god. We don't have the luxury of apostasy from statism. If I cannot be an apostate, then I will be a heretic. I invite you, join me, in pursuit of a freer, stateless world, one mind at a time. Like, share, and subscribe, and make your statement to the powers that be your declaration of heresy.